Only two places. That's the second. Now going. Yes, This is a battle. This one, Brahman. This is Brahman. This is toy. Here, all the Esta vamos haciendo una preparación con leche para. Sí. No, tiene que ver con la ¿Seguro? ¿Tiene que ver con la combinación? No. Al final no, la leche al final.
Now, judging by the cookie line, they are always considered to be very, very chaste, and they are also boasting about their chastity everywhere, here and there. So, now they came forward, and they made their attempt. They put the golden pot on their head, they went into the Jumuna River, and they dumped the pot under the water, and they held it up upon their head, and what happened? All the water became streaming out all over them, and as everybody was watching, they became very embarrassed, and they simply kind of sh shrunk away from that place in hiding. So now, everybody was so much concerned, how is it possible, how Krishna will be cured from his illness? And they were thinking, who else can carry these, this golden pot? Who will, how will it be possible? So Yoga Maya, she informed that Mother Yashoda, she should request Srimati Radharani. Because actually Srimati Radhika is the most chaste. Why is she the most chaste? Because there is no other thought in her mind ever except her beloved Shamsanda. No other thought, no other man, no other personality will ever come into her heart or mind. But because this is Parakya Ras, Lila, therefore it is always hidden. But Yoga Maya knows. And therefore she told Mother Yashoda, now you should request that Jatila and Kutila should give permission that uh, Shrimati Radhika can carry this golden pot. So then they were requested, but actually they were so very reluctant to, re to request, but nevertheless they requested. And if Krishna would die, then their reputation would also be completely spoiled. So now she went to Radhika, she was requested, but now she failed. She, she began to pretend that she is not qualified and I will not do this, I, I cannot do this. But then, then Jatila and Kutila had to actually beg her. They, be, they became very pleading. They began to beg her. No, please, please. So finally she relented, and now she came to the bank of the Jamuna River. And her, with, her, uh, with her intense praying for Krishna, she fixed her mind on the lotus feet of her beloved Krishna and his lotus face. And in her mind and in her heart, only Krishna was there. And as she began to carry this pot of water into the Jamuna River, her praying was completely filling this pot and covering this pot. And as she dumped it underneath the water in the Jamuna water, and she raised it above her head, not one single drop came out from these thousand holes. And then everybody in Braj, they began to glorify Jai Jai Shri Radhe. Krishna's lotus face, lotus head, and now Krishna, he opened his eyes and began to smile, and uh, his eyes met the eyes of Shrimati Radhika, and everybody was rejoicing that now our Kanaya Lal is all right. So in Braj, everybody loves only Krishna, they think about Krishna 24 hours, they have no other thought like this, and this pastime is showing that in Braj, there is no one who is more absorbed in Krishna praying than Shrimati Radhika, because she is the topmost beloved of Krishna, the very embodiment of Mahabhav, the highest, highest stages of Mahabhav. She is the Swarupini, the very embodiment of Mahabhav praying. So we are very fortunate <coughs> under the guidance of Sri Guru and Sri Gauranga to come to this Kailanvan and to touch the dust from this place. So we pray that this pastime and all the pastimes of Radha Shyam Sita will manifest in our hearts. Ram Ram Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Hare
and so much royal opulence and such in Dwarka. So in this way, all the residents of Braj came and Balaram was pacifying their moods of separation. Then the gopis, Braja gopis came. And when Balaramji saw the Braja gopis, he smiled and glanced at them very beautifully. And the Braja gopis began to converse and inquire about their beloved Krishna. But at first, they directly inquired, how is Krishna doing? He must be. How is he feeling surrounded by all of these very sophisticated, elevated queens of Dwarka, all of these city folk who are so exalted personalities. Now Krishna is there. So how is, what is his mood? But then they began to inquire, does he remember us also? 
at any time? Is he remembering his mother and his father and all of his British bosses who have given their life and soul and heart to him? And now they entered into a mood of feeling chastisement for, towards Krishna. And they began to blame Krishna. That Krishna is so cruel. He is so heartless. He has left us. He did not care at all. But we cannot leave him. We are here, sitting here, day after day. And we are collecting flowers from the forest. And we are stringing flower garlands for Krishna. And hoping that one day he will come. And we can place these garlands around his neck. But alas, Krishna does not come and simply we sit and weep bitterly and bitterly weeping. So in this way the Braja Gopis began to uh, speak about Krishna's cold-heartedness. How he promised, he gave his promise to the Braja Gopis that he would return. But he has not returned. And even he told, I can never repay you for your love and your devotion to me. Uh, but the Braja Gopis said, actually we see that he did not mean any of these words. Words, only he has cheated us. He immersed and Krishna Avesh, Krishna became uh, entered within their hearts and their minds and they became so absorbed that they were seeing Krishna in front of them and envisioning his pastimes. And Baladev Prabhu now in order to satisfy the Braja Gopis, Baladev Prabhu brought them to the bank of the river Jamuna at this place, Ram Ghat, and he danced Ras Lila here. The month was springtime, Chaitra, and the forest of Brindavan was filled with so many beautiful, blossoming, fragrant for forest flowers. The air was, the wind and the breeze were blowing with all these fragrances, and honey was oozing from the trees. Trees, all beautiful sap and dew were, were coming from the trees and there was a very sublime atmosphere. So Baladev Prabhu at that time he began to dance Ras Lila with the Braja Gopis. But it is explained by our Acharyas that actually Ras Lila is not only singing and dancing and playing musical instruments but so many other pastimes like Jal Keli sporting in the Jamuna River in the waters and doing so many other intimate pastimes embracing and kissing and going into private kunjas like this. But the Acharjas have explained that Baladev Prabhu he has no enjoying mood. His mood is that in his Abhiman, his identity is that I am servant of Krishna. And the loving affairs of Braj, they are not the, like the lusty affairs of this material world. In this material world, everything that goes on in the name of love, actually it is not love at all. It is simply calm lust, material lust, to satisfy one's own senses. Atmendriya priti vancha tare bale kam. So, the desire to please one's own senses, Atma Indriya, these senses of our, of our own material body, this conception is nothing but mundane lust. And there is a vast difference between lust and transcendental spiritual love of the Guloka Vrindavan. It is so, so far beyond this. There is not one speck of personal desire to satisfy one's own senses. So, Ras, in Ras Lila, in all of these pastimes of Ras and Krishna and the gopis, they are trying only to satisfy the senses of Krishna. And even Krishna's mood is not selfish. He is also serving his beloved devotees and he is satisfying them. There is purely no lust at all. So in this pastime, Baladev Prabhu was dancing with the Krishna's gopis, but especially he was dancing also with his own gopis. And after the affairs of the Raslila dance, dancing, Baladev Prabhu went only with his own gopis into the intimate kujas where he embraced the Braja gopis that were in his own gana, in his own camp. Because earlier in Krishna's pastimes he glanced at when they were herding the cows, Krishna gave a glance to Baladev Prabhu to indicate that oh there is this section of gopis here and they are attracted to you. They are particularly your gopis. So from that time on Baladev Prabhu understood and those gopis also understood. So when Baladev Prabhu came here, he was especially dancing with his own gopis and engaging in ras. But even if Baladev 
Sukadev Prabhu is, is engaging in Ras Lila with Krishna's gopis, there is no harm to this. There is no mundane lust. It is purely in the service of Krishna. So Baladev Prabhu looked so beautiful and when uh, the Ras, when they were finished with their dancing, then Baladev Prabhu wanted to engage in water sports. So he called Jamuna Devi to come. Uh, but Jamuna Devi was reluctant to come and she was fearful of Baladev. Oh, I forgot to mention, just prior to this, uh, the atmosphere in Muda Vrindavan was filled uh, with so much nectar and Varuna sent his daughter Varuni to come and manifest in the form of these very sweet, beautiful Varuni beverage. And so Baladev Prabhu and all the gopis began to drink this Varuni and they became intoxicated. But what is this intoxication? This is the intoxication of Krishna Prem. It is not ordinary intoxication of this world. But Jamuna Devi was reluctant to come. So Baladev Prabhu, you know that he carries a plow, Haladar, Balaram, carrying the hala, the plow. So he used his plow and he went and he dragged Jamuna Devi to this place. So it is explained by our charges that how can he drag Jamuna Devi? Because Jamuna is the beloved Saki of Krishna, Vishaka Devi herself. So how could Baladev treat her in such a rough manner like this? But it is explained by the Acharyas that that original Jamuna Devi, who is the very manifestation of liquid Krishna Prem, this Jamuna which Lord Balaram was uh, calling is the manifestation of that original Jamuna Devi. This Jamuna Devi uh, goes and flows down toward the ocean. So this was not the same Vishaka Devi manifestation of Jamuna which Lord Balaram had pulled. Uh, so in this way, Lord Balaram now entered the Jamuna River just like an elephant with so many she-elephants. And they bathed and engaged in so many beautiful water sports here. And Baladev Prabhu engaged in this pastime of Ras Lila with the gopis for two months and fully satisfied their hearts because for so long their hearts had been burning in separation. And now they felt so appeased and so happy. And when Baladev Prabhu came out of the Jamuna River, oh, then uh, they came and offered some very beautiful blue cloth to Balaram. And his body is very white like the moon. And Baladev looked so beautiful and so wonderful. So we know that anyone who takes shelter of the lotus feet of Baladev Prabhu, who is the Akanda Guru Tattva, just like Nartam Das Thakur has praised Nityananda Balaram, that Nitai Pada Kamalam Koti Chandra Sushitala Yechayai Jagata Jurai. Jagata Jurai means that the whole universe, the whole world, it becomes cooled and it becomes completely relieved uh, by taking shelter of the two lotus feet of Lord Nityananda Balaram. So Baladev Prabhu, without Baladev and taking shelter of Balaram, no one can have any spiritual strength because the word Bala means spiritual strength. Not by material strength can we achieve the lotus feet of Krishna. Only by taking shelter of Baladev Prabhu, who is the Akanda Guru Tattva, and entering into the service mode of Sri Krishna, then all spiritual strength will come to us. So, without this, it is impossible to attain Krishna, Krishna Seva, and the mercy of Krishna. So we're very fortunate to come here, to this place, Ram Ghat, and to take the dust on our heads. This tree is also a descendant of a very large banyan tree that was here at the time when Baladev Prabhu danced his Ras Lila. So we are bowing down in the dust of this place and at the lotus feet of our Guru Dev and Rupanuga Guru Varga that they will bless us that one day all of these pastimes will manifest within our hearts. Sri Ram Ghat Ki Jai Baladev Prabhu Ki Jai Ananda Prabhu completely absorbed in the mood of Baladev Prabhu and he was staying in this place and, and dancing, singing with his associates. So, and our all Guru Bhargas, they came, our beloved Gurudev, every year he used to come in this place. So we have come here in this place to collect the dust of their food dust. One day you will realize the dust of the Brajo Fumi. Baro, 
बलराम घाट की
the entire goal of their life to serve Krishna and to observe His sweet form by their eyes. The, those are not even blinking. They are simply glancing at Krishna, one pointed glance without even blinking their eyelids. And the gopis are also glorifying this land. And when Radhika and gopis, they went to Kurukshetra, they actually told Krishna that here you are like a king, you are a, you are a prince here. And there are so many elephants and horses and big armies around and we don't, <coughs> we don't enjoy with you the same way as in Vrindavan. The Vrindavan is a very sweet land. There are so many beautiful Kadamba trees on which the peacocks are doing the sound K ka K ka the peacocks and peahens are singing. So many cuckoo birds are doing this, this the pancham swar koo koo and so many beautiful sound is coming and Krishna is <coughs> and Krishna is playing flute here. And actually Maharaj was explaining a very nice tattva here that who's the flute? Flute is actually the Saraswati, the goddess of learning, who actually wanted to stay on Krishna's person all the time. So she did intense austerity. And when she did the intense austerity, Krishna appeared to her and said, What benediction you want? And Saraswati Devi said, I should always remain on your person. I should always be attached to you, connected to you. And Krishna said, This is very difficult. There are so many gopis. And how can I keep you alone? by my side and then Krishna said alright you become my flute sometimes I will keep you on my lips sometimes I will keep you around my waist sometimes I will keep you on my hand and then Saraswati took the form of a flute the flute has seven holes the seven holes actually and our mouth are also there are seven holes there are two nostrils one mouth two ears and two eyes so there are seven holes on our head so when we the flute has to be empty. When you cut a bamboo, it's just a portion of bamboo. When you cut this bamboo, it has to be emptied out. Then the seven holes are made with a burning iron rod. <clears throat> if the flute is not empty, if there is some garbage, there is some dust, there are some leaves inside the flute, the flute would not sound at all. So in order that the nectar from Krishna's lips to enter into the flute and pervade this whole Brahmanda, the flute has to be empty. So Maharaj was saying that our heart should always also be empty and it should only be filled with the nectar of Krishna's lips. What is a flute? Flute is nothing but a dry bamboo. On the bank of Jamuna, so many bamboos are there and the one portion of the bamboo is cut and the flute is made. There are seven holes, there are seven swar, sa, re, ga, ma, pa, da, ni, sa, seven notes. However, this bamboo <coughs> has become very proud. The bamboo feels very proud that I... And all the ancestors of the bamboo and all the relatives, the trees are the relatives of the bamboo trees, <coughs> bamboo shoots, and they are very, very proud that one of our descendants, this flute, is always remain on Krishna's lips. And even the Jamuna is very happy that, oh, I am related with these bamboos, the bamboos <coughs> grow on my bank, and Jamuna is also very proud of the bamboo flute of Krishna. So this is, Maharaj was quoting so many beautiful things from the Venu Gita and the glories of this place, we have come to this place, this is the most glorious place and we are praying to the dust of this uh, land where Krishna did so many pastimes with the gopis that it will shower, sprinkle some mercy on us. Vancha uh, Kalpa Duruvesh. Uh, similar uh, kind hearts, uh, great, upright, not to be He's gone now, he's gone to the third by some Raj, one year in the Romanai. I participate on all Simhati Radhika. So, I have seen before, also here, there is one one Kadam tree and one one Samadhi. So, good day is free. Now, most of the forest of Lava is already here.
Vai, Sané. Yeah. <laughs> 